Hey, I'm Kendra from Redgate, and I want to show you what Flyway can do with undo. Let's say I am in this state. I have run up to migration 002. That's my most recent successful version to migration. Notice that that shows as undoable. This is the output from ha me having run Flyway info. Well, the reason that that shows as undoable is that for migration version 002, I have a corresponding undo script. This script starts with the letter U. So Flyway says, oh, you have created an undo for version 002. Let's go ahead and undo that. To do so, I can run Flyway undo, and that grabs that undo scripts and runs it against my database. To verify what's happened, I can say flyaway info here and see that now this undo script has been run successfully. The versioned migration that I ran for 002 now has a different status. Now the status is that it's been undone. Now here's an important thing to know about how undo works. I might want to fix version 002, correct the error that I've made, and redo it. Flyway assumes that there was a reason I originally ran 002, so migration version 002 is now in a pending state. If I go ahead and run Flyway Migrate right now, it's gonna go ahead and run all of my pending migrations. I also happen to have a version 003 that is ready to go as well. So let's go ahead and run Flyway Migrate. It will rerun version 002 as well as run version 003. If I now look at Flyway Info, I can see that version 002 and 003 have been run successfully. I only have an undo script for 002, so that is the only one that shows as undoable. Well, what if I wanna do that? I wanna undo it even though I'm at version 003. I wanna go back and undo a lower version. Well, if I simply run flyway undo, that's not what I wanna do. The most recent version that's run is 003 and see that it says, I assume that undo means you want to undo the current version of the database, the, the highest. In this case, there is no undo migration for 003, so we cannot do that. Well, if I want, I can still go back and say, Flyway, I want to go out of order. I want you to cherry pick version 002 and go ahead and undo that. Now that I've given Flyway information about the migration I do want to undo, it says, oh, oh yes, I see the undo migration for that. And it has successfully undone that migration. So now when I look at Flyway Info, I can see that my undo script here was run by Flyway because I used cherry pick, it was done out of order. And now look, we're, we're in a sort of odd situation because I have done this out of order. We are currently, version three has been run forward successfully. I have now gone back and undone version two. And since I did that out of order, in this case, the status of the versioned migration 002, it is not in a pending state this time because I cherry picked my undo. It now has a status of ignored. So this is a quick intro to the many things you can do with Flyway Undo. Thanks for joining me.